So um, hello everyone following Betai and Free Electrons on social media. Um, well, um, this is a kind of a surprise, but do you know those stories that really give you goosebumps between faith and venture, resilience and pain, failures and successes, and especially uh, deeply human and people-oriented stories? That this is the case. Uh, well, William Kamkwamba um, is one of those stories and we have the pleasure of having him here for a quick interview. William's from Malawi and he is the doer and the author behind um, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, the book, then the documentary, uh, then the movie that you may have watched. And, and it's his uh, Make It Happen story that has triggered the invitation from Free Electrons, uh, the most important open innovation program for energy in the world. Um, for William to be a keynote speaker uh, during the Free Electrons module happened this week um, in order to tell uh, at, least, at least a bit of his story. So William, at first, thank you so much um, for having us, for having this time to, to talk with us. Um, and let's, uh, let's go straight to, to, to the point this way. I started almost 20 years ago. Um, in the beginning, it was about um, inventing and building a, a wind turbine to power your family house, but a lot of things happened afterwards. But coming back to, 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 to those, those uh, days and what happened next, how many attempts did it take you to build a commercially viable wind turbine? What did that struggle to succeed um, teach you at such a, a young age? Um, there was a lot of uh, a lot of like challenges building that uh, first windmill. I think I have to, I had like to try the first one. I made like the prototype; it worked. But uh, my actual windmill, I had like to do uh, change things as I go because some part work, some didn't work. So, which is the case with any other like invention? I think. Uh, most of the time, it doesn't always work right away. Uh, at the first trial, there are like some stuff that you, you learn along the way and you have like to improve upon it. So, which is the same thing that I did. Uh, the first one, the first windmill was probably just like facing one direction, didn't uh, turn to face where the wind was coming from. So I had like to improve on that. I was using the bicycle chain uh, had the problem with the chain always like jumping off the sprocket. I had like to place with the um, a pulley and belt. So all those type of like uh, issues. But I think uh, for me on that like work on that innovation, I think I understand earlier on that in everything that you do, I think you face like some challenges no matter what. But I think what makes it like different is how do you overcome those challenges see how do you um go around like bumps go around like some obstacles so as i was building the windmill those were like the some of the challenges that i was like uh, facing so um just taking like a one step at a time that's what uh, helped me to go through it mm -hmm. i'm sure uh, people um can can reach um your book also the documentary, not only uh, the film, it's more um, uh, well known, but, but you have uh, a, a book telling your own story. So um, I just uh, give the opportunity and the, and, and the hook here uh, for people to go after this, uh, this content and, and move further to, um, to bring your story to, to the current days, let's say. Uh, as we said before, we know there are a lot of things to, to be told uh, like um, the solar powered wind, uh, water pump, um, all the other wind turbines, maybe um, the investment part and the windmills project. And for sure, uh, I'm super curious to know about your innovation center. Um, let's, let's make this, this, this time, um, time lapse and, and, and bring the conversation to the current days. Um, what can you share um, to the audience about your current projects? Um, maybe you could focus on the windmills project and uh, the innovation center, for instance. Mm -hmm. So the current project that I'm uh, working on, um, I'm working with the moving windmills project. So the current project that we are doing, we are building innovation center. The innovation center that will have well-equipped machine shop tools, 
that we're going to be able to use to design and build a project that will direct address problem that people are facing. So it's related to, we're going, we're going to be doing work related to energy, doing work related to uh, agriculture, because majority of the people in Malawi are farmers, but each and every year we are still struggling to feed our population. So we want to find the ways, how can we be able like to part to be part of the solution, but also at the same time, uh, some other innovation as well, either in like energy, is gonna be part of the innovation center because uh, we need to have uh, energy in order to land that innov innovation center. So we're gonna be bringing in like students from all over, uh, all over Malawi to work with us and also connecting them with the potential mentors to mentor them in their project that they are doing. Either if they are doing a project which is directly to energy, we're going to be trying like to find the uh, professional into energy sector to connect the student to see how they can help their project to to be uh, to be done. Or if there are some that they are doing into related to agriculture, we're going to be able to connect them with the mentors that they are doing works into uh, agriculture so that's what we have been we have been like focusing on uh, on doing with this uh, innovation center that we are uh, we are building so we are still in very early stages of um, our planning we already have like a team of people working on this uh, innovation center and also we have a very great uh, architectural design firm uh, mass design uh, they have done a lot of work in the many countries in Africa their um, headquarters it's uh, they have like office in rwanda they have like some office here in the us in the, uh in massachusetts and the, they have also done work in malawi so um we are we are hoping that by working with them we're gonna be able to come up with something that it's gonna be able to um build that gap because i think i we realize that there's a, there's a gap sometimes of having an idea and the, getting that idea to actual uh, to be uh, realized or to be able to implement it. So we want to uh, have like the innovation center that is going to allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. And who's already supporting, uh, giving you support uh, for this project to happen, uh, William, from from the funding and investment side and also from the mentoring and acceleration side or, or training side uh, for the people? Um, so far, who is giving us like the, um, we have been like for the mass design, uh, design firm, they are like supporting us in terms of like designing, but we also have like a great team of people that we are working with um, to, or who, whom we are working with with the project. We have who, uh, there are like some team here in the U.S. We are working with the, uh, Amanda Refuge. He's doing a lot of like um, doing like the early like development work, and we also have to um, work with the Elik Banger, who is also like doing a lot of like development work. Uh, working with the, with him, I work with the also like um, um, my wife, me, and also have to, we have like some other board members that. He, uh, they are supporting us, but in terms of uh, funding, we are um, we are still like a raising fund where we share people are supporting the uh, the innovation uh, innovation center. So we are hoping that uh, more and we want to tell to more and more people who will be like also wanting to join into supporting the innovation center. For the in terms of like coaching and the and the staff, we are hoping that we'll be able to. Uh, get a lot of people that they are doing like similar work to be uh, we are being trying like to we are reaching out like to some other NGOs or company that they are doing like similar work to see how they can be able like to, to, to support and we want to be able like to use the uh, human center design before when I finish from school uh, from when I graduated from college I worked with the idea idea.org uh, we are hoping that we're gonna um, doing like some uh, human center design. I was doing human center design there. We are hoping that we're gonna be able like to talk with them to see if they can be um, if there will be like a way that they can uh, they can get like involved. But I think we are 
or we um we are also like open up like with anybody who is like interested to be part of this uh, uh, this adventure to, to to make the innovation center uh, live possible. So this is a very um, uh, straight to the point message to the ones who are watching us. Uh, um, there's a tangible opportunity uh, to re really build impact and results uh, through uh, William Project. So please, I'm sure uh, you can reach him out on, on, on internet and, and social media to, to trigger the, um, this conversation. Um, William, uh, you said something um, amazing during our speech to the Free Electrons audience, um, that is, talent is universal and opportunities are not. Um, what's your opinion about collaboration for the sake of innovation? Can, can we do things better or differently without different perspectives and, 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 and without openness to, to listen to, to, let's say, the others? It's uh, 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 the collaboration is the key um, in terms of like innovation. I think he, everything that we are doing today, it's because we are building up on the other people's the, um, other people's like knowledge. We have like to realize that he, um, you can't do anything on your own. I think he, sometimes you have to be a little uh, honest, like open up that you're going to uh, borrow like ideas from other people and working together you're gonna achieve more than just working into isolation because there might be like something that I know better, but uh, uh, there might be also like something that I don't know that I might need somebody else collaboration in order to be able like to achieve one thing that will be a little great rather than being just uh, confined to your own, own idea by just like sitting on, on your own self because that time that way you might be able like to miss out like a lot but if you collaborate with other people you don't have to some other thing you don't have to struggle with something that he, somebody already have like an idea how well can it be it can be done or you don't have to reinvent the wheel that somebody has already reinvented but if you collaborate that's how you can you know who has what knowledge and how can you be able like, to tap that knowledge to put into what you are doing uh, for the good of like he, um, the community or the society in general. So I think he, uh, by being like understanding that he, um, you can't do anything, uh, you can't do everything on your own, but you have to collaborate. And personally speaking, William, do you believe that um, after the, the, the current context of pandemic and the, its consequences. Um, personally speaking, do you believe we are going to be more uh, open and, and collaborative uh, regarding uh, business and, and on, a day, on a daily basis uh, as, a, a, as a society? Or, oh, yeah. or, or too, too, too early to, to, to have an opinion on that? <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen, but I think it's possible that people be more like collaborative in terms of like that because the thing like with the pandemic, uh, it's not like only one society versus the one, only one society that has been like impacted, but it's the whole like society. So if you're going to also come up with like a solution towards that problem, uh, we need like collaborative way of addressing like the, 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 the problem. So I think that can also apply in terms of like business of how uh, communities can be able like to correlate the same way that he, um, scientists are doing right now, trying to find the ways, how can we be able like, to find a vaccine? Because he, uh, it's not about he, um, only one, one person like a uh, problem that they have to like to, people, people don't have to work in isolation, but the, I uh, think if you're doing like you're working all like together, we'll be able like to achieve uh, greater goals. So I think um, there's there's a hope that people would be doing more correlation. Mm -hmm. in, in this sense, uh, William, um, what do you think uh, of the Free Electrons program and its approach of um, converging um, collaboration between corporates and startups um, and its mission to 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 be part of a smarter uh, or more accessible 
um, energy future? Um, did you have uh, uh, the experience of understanding what the program is about and how um, um, the platform has been building new solutions over time? Yeah, it's it's a great approach uh, towards like the the problem with the uh, energy uh, because I think he, uh, sometimes you have like to get like somebody else to see a problem or who can be able like to come up with the like a solution. I think he, with a lot of like utilities, they have known only one way of like doing uh, doing things, but by having um, having like some startups some entrepreneur to uh, to work with the, to work with them that they can come up with like some other solution that maybe the utility companies might not think uh, themselves because they have never um, they have just known one way of like doing things but having like some other uh, other eye like to see from other like distrant they might be able like to see that oh I think this way they're gonna be we're gonna be able like to do this way so I think it, it's very uh, good uh, greater approach. Uh, to 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 let like companies um, working with like startups in terms of like uh, addressing uh, problem concerning with like uh, uh, power. So yeah. Well, um, William, just to finish um, your story and your achievements for sure, uh, they're absolutely um, amazing. Um, would you like to 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 give uh, any uh, any final word or? advice to the youngsters or not not, not necessarily youngsters um, running their own projects or namely in this case um, coming through uh, the free elections program something that you like to share uh, for them to, to think about or to and to act uh, on um, one thing that I would say it's like I uh, think he, once you have already like you know, when you are doing like any project i think no matter who you are where you are you might face like some challenges but don't take uh, allow those challenges to take away your goals um i think by expecting that you're gonna face those challenges i think what makes a difference is how how you address the challenges that they come um and the, how you can be able like to reach out like to some other other people i uh, don't be uh, don't be shy you're going to always be able like to achieve what you are trying like to achieve and if you fail that's not the end of everything because you're gonna learn uh, from uh, where you have felt next time when you're gonna do like some other project you're gonna always like try to find out how can you be able like to uh, avoid the problem that you faced the area by doing things different like way and the uh, uh, the, there's not only one way of doing things there might be like multiple ways but try to find out how can you be able like, to open that other ways uh, to find the, to achieve the same uh, the same goal because sometimes that uh, if you know that uh, you only know one way the problem is that uh, if in between where you want to go if you face like the bridge is being damaged then uh, the whole your journey it's like that's the end of that's that bridge because the bridge is broken but if you know different ways you're gonna go like a different route until you reach your your point no matter how maybe it might take longer than the way that you have always like known but uh, at the end of the day you want to achieve you want to get where you want to to be so that's it. That's the uh, only advice that I can give. Amazing, William. Uh, for sure, um, if you permit me to say, yes, there's there's more than one way to to do things and, and to solve challenges. And there's the beauty uh, of our uh, each one achievement and for life. Not to say this is not necessarily about business and society. It's our personal uh, story and the way we overcome our challenges. And let me thank you for that, uh, for your time and for your words as well. Um, thank you for uh, the ones who have watched this um, through Free Electrons or Beta E channels. Um, there's more to come. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you again, William.